Shalom, in this lesson, I'm going to be addressing pretty much how we just got to simply stay how we need to be. You know, it's a certain way we're supposed to be with this doctrine and not using it and abusing it, you know. But before I get into this call, hello, I'm like, how about show me how shy with how and double honest to the whole field, like Elder Apostle Lynn. You know, elder men at the Great Millstone Church, more willing, you know, slave to be saved. Start with them on down to the rest. Shout out to the rest that may be out here and been out here under the same doctrine. On to the Akim here at this faction of this whole elect assembly. They were also in on, you know, that's doing what they need to do. Um, and on to the rest of the Akim doing likewise and to the rest of the believers. So, yeah, us in this truth, with this truth, teachers of this truth, we have to keep what's been entrusted with us. And that's the, a, a certain state of mind, a certain outlook, a certain understanding. And the outlook being that when, you know, with truth, with certain doctrines, with power given into the wrong hands, you know, if we just look back at history, the times that doesn't happen, you know, the times that that, that has happened, we see what it, what it, what it brought about, what it, you know, and the thing that has been, and that's destruction. And like the scriptures say, the thing that has been is that what shall be. So we are to learn from these occurrences. You know what I'm saying? Like, and understand that's what it brings. It brings, it could bring destruction. It could bring, you know, lies. It could bring, you know, influence. When you give somebody, when, when something of power is somehow gotten over into the wrong hands. And that's what we gotta understand, man. You know, and it can ultimately destroy the one, the hands that it has gotten into, you know, that may be doing wrong with it. And uh, obviously, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, that, that's the most powerful thing is the, the Bible. You know, this doctrine is understanding. You know, someone really understood, like, like this is God's truth. Just imagine what they can do with it. You know, this is the most high who people call God, you know, in the name of his son. It's like, truth, one truth. You know, all the understanding is the, the interpretation is what's to come, what's supposed to be, the order. This is like when you got to be, so you got to be, you got to know how to speak a word in season. You know, I say a godly man always knows his the, the discourse of a godly man is always with um, wisdom. Why? Because a godly man is also a wise man, and they say a wise man will fear in everything. So you understand, he's this 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 godly person is always considering, you know, what could be, what could happen, what he has. It's like, for instance, if a nigga find out that, you know, the wrong person find out that a man could have more than one wife or, you know, if a, if a woman was told that was immature that, you know, that she, you know, the Lord said women, they shall, you know, basically prophesy. Imagine what can happen with that. So that's why with us understanding, like, everything the Lord okays that he's revealed to us and everything that's to come, we want to keep what has been entrusted with that. And that's a response, to, you know, a, 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 how can I say it? I don't want to necessarily say a gatekeeper. I mean, we in the image of Yahweh Shah, we want to keep the, the, the mentality Yahweh Shah kept, which was a, a gatekeeper mentality. You can't get, you can't enter enter in without the approval of the gatekeeper. They show you that on movies like Thor. You know, Yahweh Shah, he said things like that. It's things you can't even access if he doesn't approve of you. You know, <clears throat> and reason he's like that is because he understand what can happen. That's why the Lord always told us what. I'm gonna just get a quick scripture. This is Revelation 13 and 9, something that's, that always is mentioned, but I want to focus on the specific part with something 
that uh, uh, the Lord himself also said, Revelation 13 and 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear. So implying what? Because Yahweh shall also quote it. So let's go, let, let's also go to when he mentioned this. Matthew 13 and 9, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Meaning he's going to, if if a person, basically who is, is only, it's only to a people is given. He's not going to talk to somebody that he should be talking to about things that of power because power given over into the wrong hands could destroy nations. You know, like they say, you can't, you can't uh, lie without knowing the truth. So Esau, he learned the truth. That's why you ain't to be teaching so-called white people necessarily. You know, certain things just because you can and you know all of this. You know, imagine if Yahweh Shah did that. Now you see, if y'all, you know, the reason y'all look is because, you know, you know, and because he didn't do that. Yahweh Shah didn't do that because he understood this very thing I'm bringing out. So I'm going to just go ahead and get to the lesson. And Lord willing, you edify this Second Timothy 2 and 2. And the, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Exactly. Why is he saying this? Because these are the ordinances that Paul, that Timothy had delivered unto him. By Paul, that Paul had delivered unto him by who? Yahweh Shah. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Hamashiach. All right, and this is in the NLT, powerful. And you should imitate me just as much as I imitate Hamashiach. All right. It says, now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. See that in the NLT? I am so glad that you always keep me in your thoughts and that you are following the teachings I passed on to you because the teachings he passed on was the teachings of Yahweh Shai. And what was the main teaching? When we go back to 2 Timothy 2, what did Timothy have, you know, told to him by Paul? It says what? Verse 2, And the things, 2 Timothy 2 and 2, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to to teach others also. So we could just jump to the horse's mouth, if you will, which would be Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, he, he taught Paul to be like this because to only teach faithful men, men that's gonna understand the responsibility, you know, because uh, uh, the power of this truth. And they're gonna deal out this truth in the way that they're supposed to. Only commit yourself to those that understand that and that will abide by that. Because if you just give it to everybody, you know, like the Lord says, let me get it. Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast your pearls before a swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. And that's exactly what happened when you just give this truth to anybody when you're you don't understand the power that you hold when you give the mysteries of the kingdom that if people really knew and understood you can probably be talking to somebody that really understand the power of this and magnitude and they just looking for the 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 instructions on how to operate it how to drive this vehicle because they know it's the vehicle of god but they're understand that they're not the one they're not one that's permitted to be in it by any means. But they understand that vehicle can exist. So they're just looking for one that, let's just say, for example, is uh, they are responsible for allowing people to get in, those that are permitted. But simply, they're simply just what's responsible for people getting in. So they just need to get to that person that may not understand that. You know what I'm saying? And imagine what that person 
that understands all of that, you know, and is pretty much trying to, you know, breach that person who allows people to enter in and use the vehicle of God, if you will. You know, just just simply imagine if they if they if you know they breach this person and they get in that vehicle, you already know with that type of mentality, a person thinking on that caliber, what could be brought forth. They could do anything in a vehicle vehicle of God. It's the vehicle got a God. They could bring forth anything. This this the type of mentality you want to have. It says in NLT, don't waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Don't throw your pearls to pigs. They will trample the pearls, then turn again, turn and attack you. Right. Sirach 12 and 4, give to the godly man, right, that faithful man, and help not a sinner. You don't just give this, 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 because that's what, really what this lesson is going into. We don't just, we commit our, uh, ourselves to, uh, you know, as far as bringing this word out, right? Men that's going to, the, the first, the first, first and foremost, the lost sheep, but those that, are worthy like Yahweh Shai said when you go into a city inquire in it who is worthy because the Lord is not though they though they be of Israel all are not uh, Israel though they be of Israel as the Lord says he's looking for the elect so that's what we are to look for and that's who we are looking to commit ourselves to you know you stop so when someone stops and talk you see they really can't get it they have elevator ain't really you know going going you know going it's not going where it needs to be you know upon like a response to something you may give to them might not be the response that's supposed to be given, you know, or the right response to that according to the scriptures. And you see that, all right, you know, you leave that Jake alone. And this is an instance, is in instances if you're on the highways or you're just talking to somebody, you ran across, you have to plan, you may be out, it could be a so-called family member. It could be, any, it don't matter who it is, but if they're Israelite and, 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 and you're dealing with, the power as someone that holds this power. That's why he said it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to over talk, but you're dealing with, you're not only holding that, but you're going to deal with it and deal it out according to this understanding, how you're supposed to. You're not going to commit yourself to a person who can't get it on that, on, on how they need to. You're going to tell them, okay, you, and you move on. Why would I give a nigga, you know? Anything can come out of that. They can go, they can come on scoffing. They can, anything can happen. But anyway, it says, I'm going to keep this to the point. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not thy, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee, right? Lest he overmaster thee. And what? And. Slock it, lest he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. Exactly. He's going to take your place. He, he, he's going to take your place. He, he, he's going he's gonna to be like Loki. For those that have seen the movie uh, Thor. All right. You got to understand that. This is a uh, verse... 10, never trust thine enemy, for like as his iron rusted, so is his wickedness, though he humbled himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither, exactly, and why would he stand up in your place? Because you are in a place of power. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked there and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? And come or any such as come wild not come now come nigh wild beasts. And that's why you gotta understand exactly more so why you have to deal, uh, you have to help, you have to keep what's been entrusted with us basically well, all this is telling us uh responsibility understanding that you're uh heir of the throne this is why it's basically pushing yourself to don't put yourself in dangerous situations 
because you are the temple of the Lord. You hold the promise, the kingdom of heaven is within, within you. So if you die, you just out here giving a doctrine to anybody, you allowing anything to happen to the doctrine, you just bringing the doctrine, because this is really why I'm bringing this out, you just bringing the doctrine out for the wrong reasons. You, th this is why you don't want to do this, because anything could come out of that when you just want to teach, just to be teaching, like for, for bogus reasoning. That's not cool. We can't be like that. We have to keep the mindset that it's a responsibility, right? It's a certain way or conduct the Lord wants us to move with now having this truth. We have to keep that at the forefront. Us that teach this truth first and foremost. And even those of you that don't necessarily teach it, but you understand it and you know it. If you're a man, woman, you have something very precious and powerful. If it's turned over into the wrong hands, if it's left subject to anything, you know, it can end bad. It could bring a lot of destruction. Imagine if the elect weren't people who have to be sealed. Imagine if they weren't people actually guarding themselves, not entangling themselves with the affairs of this life. Like just out here, just however, willy nilly, you know, what, 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 what's, what's at stake at happening? The nation not coming back, the nation being destroyed if they were moving like that. So the elect ain't going to be people uh, without, that's, that's going to hold the, this, this doctrine and be able to teach it or just hold it in their vessels completely. They're not going to be people who are going to do that without understanding all of this. All right, so it says, so, uh, yeah, so that's that, man. I'm going to jump to the point. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, verse 16, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will with his eyes, he will weep with his eyes, but if he found opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. So there it is, man, you know? It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and thou shalt, and, and though he pretend to help thee, it says, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clasp his, and that's what you want to understand with, uh, with, the, with, the, with, with this doctrine, that it's power and everybody that could be told, like, it's things in here that people shouldn't even be told, because it's, it's, it's holy. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be. They they might not be worthy of hearing. That's why he said the the med the ready was the wedding was married was was ready, but the they were there were they that were bidding were not worthy. You're not gonna just give your give these things over to anybody. Once you really understand, this is why the world is ups, upside down. You understand motives exist. You understand you're an error of something that's of a kingdom that's said to be everlasting. You're an error of something everlasting that's not able to be destroyed anymore. So you and this all through it all started with this with the, knowing this word, understanding these mysteries of the kingdom. So why would you just why would you just why wouldn't you walk, you know? Why wouldn't you carry yourself like someone that has put a, a master lock on themselves? Now, we not hiding the truth, but it's just like you're a locker. You only going, going in when you need to. You don't just have the locker open for any, any and everybody. And you got men that pretty much use this truth, that they teach this truth for strife, and they basically show they are individuals that do not understand this and that's why the lord is going to get rid of them and they're not being like our lord our lord that's why i have this image pulled up he didn't talk to everybody he didn't because he understood the power that could come you don't just tell esau who you are you don't tell these people you don't tell everybody stuff they not necessarily ready for like i said it's like telling a woman she could be that's bugged out she already like masculine 
she thinks she's over a man, and you tell her, yeah, sister, she see you a prophet, sister. You know, she you can destroy stuff like that. You got to be careful with, you know. So I said a lot, so I'm gonna close this out. So that's why the Lord said this, man. All right, you don't you don't get the, you don't give all of this over, and this is the, all of this is the history of why Timothy, you know, is being told this. All of this is the understanding why Timothy is being told this, man. They could take the doctrine and destroy it. They can be like, oh, those are prophets. They get you delivered up. That's why the Lord said, what? Beware of men. Yahweh Shai didn't, he, he, he didn't talk to everybody because he understood the power that he had. But that's not even the focal point of this lesson. So let me get to it now, right? This is the reasoning for what the focal point of this lesson is. It says, 2 Timothy 2 and 2, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So just because, right, you know this doctrine, right, or you can ask the question, don't mean, for instance, if you know the doctrine, you should teach it to everybody. And just because you ask a question don't mean it's going to be taught to you regarding the doctrine. You may ask a question regarding the doctrine. That don't mean it's going to be taught to you because you... Is is by, by one that made that's seriously considering these things that's that's hoping to be of the elect because they understand the power that can come with this and he and this person this man will understand that what that is 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 if given over into the wrong hands first of all he understand motives his motives are out here you know and everybody motives ain't right their agendas out here that's not the pushing forth for the agendas of the, of the Lord. And he understands this could change the world. So he's not going to be quick to hand this over. And this is how this is the mindset that we are to push and put ourselves in. Not just willing to just tell everybody everything. You're supposed to be in a gatekeeper type type uh, mode. Like the, the guy, on, I forget his name, on Thor he, with the all gold on the jake. He just was, he, he was, he was poised. Look that word up. All right. So I'm going to jump to the point. Let me see. Sirach 5 and 11. Be swift to hear, right? And let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. So there it is, man. So that man gonna understand that all men ain't sincere. All questions not sincere. So why would I give you give you this? You know, and I have this this image of Eli pulled up from the book of Eli because that's what took place in the movie. He was only committing himself to faithful men because he understood that movie book. The book of Eli shows you exactly what I'm, the examples I'm giving of, for the reasoning as the reasoning for why this topic, this focal point is, is relevant. And, and it's to be something we need to actually consider. Because he understood, he's like, he understood what dudes understand. Esau in the movie, he's like, it's not just a book, it's a weapon. You can control the people with it. You know, so we, we shouldn't be quick to just have these wicked people get it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're not worthy, we're going to tell the truth. We're going to speak, thus say of the Lord. But we want to be in that gatekeeper, which Yahweh Shah is, that gatekeeper mentality. Like Yahweh Shah, that's how Yahweh Shah was. You know, we hold the secrets of the universe, the functions and instructions and the workings of the universe. Solomon said he understood all things. Solomon is actually a Hawasha, you know? So why would you be so quick to, just like he had to deal with uh, the woman who brought her baby, you know, the way the, Solomon was all about wisdom. He wasn't just quick to just react and just give people what they want because destruction can come like that like the baby the, the wrong woman could have got the baby so instead he he used wisdom he said cut the baby in half she's like she stole my baby paraphrase he said cut the baby in half because he's looking for the real response he's trying to see who's insincere who's going to be sincere based off their reaction 
And he like, that's how I know. And the woman that was crying the most, he like, that's her baby. Give it to her. And everybody was confounded. He ain't just, and lo and behold, that was Howard Shai, who came back even wiser than Solomon because he was Solomon. You know, Solomon got wiser, if you will. So he wasn't quick to just give everything, the Pharisees, what they was looking for and everything. You ain't quick to just tell any, because you, you got the ant, like, you know what can happen. So you dudes that take this truth and you teach it for, for filthy lucre's sake, you teach it for strife and envy, the Lord, he gonna destroy you, man. He'll destroy us if we being like that, right? Because why? Verse, tw verse 13, Honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of man is his fall. Right. See? So these words is, is, is they say a man shall promote himself to honor with, 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 with his words. That's what the scriptures say. Paraphrasing. So you got to be, as a one that understands his doctrine, you got to be, you got to be real discreet. They say be discreet, discreet in all things. We're paraphrasing with giving this word out, man. Because brothers be, it's brothers that be having the wrong motives, man. So I was going to get it, but I'm going to just read this. This is 2 Timothy for reason and for why you, you don't, if you get you men, you don't be so quick to just want to, you know, be in that gatekeeper mode, man. Don't be so quick to just want to show your knowledge and blah, 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 and show your knowledge and answer. When you like that, you green. And the Lord don't need us green, man. You know? That's how you get Edomites among you and Esau get the truth and they able to infiltrate, man. You know? This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh Bashem al a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun... Profane and vain babblings, meaning avoid them, right? People that come up, they ain't really talking about nothing. You, ah, they ain't dealing with you. And you got all the answers. For they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as a do as do a can canker, right? Like a canker sore in your mouth. It says, of whom is Hermonius and Phyllis. You got people that's actually like this. You know, it says, who concerning the truth. Meaning if you if you answer them, you engage with them, they're vain babbling, you answer a fool according to his folly, it says this is what could happen. Like these men are pretty much used as it was used as an example. Cause they were men that was dealt with in a way they was should they shouldn't have. It says, Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. Exactly. So you gotta be careful who you engage with, man. You know what I'm saying? But um Let's, who even talk to these men about the resurrection? You know? To where they can go on and overthrow the faith of some, get other people destroyed. So that's that's my point. Kahalam la Yahweh Bashmi al Shaiwa Hawa Kakodash. Keep this at your forefront, man. You know, the 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 we're supposed to what? We're supposed to um we've been entrusted. Right, with a responsible way or conduct or outlook or perception, you know, due to what we hold. All right, so only the elect gonna get in here, and that's what Yahweh wanted. All right, that's why he spoke in parables. Shalom.